It's 98.7 KISS FM. Welcome to Kissing After Dark. I'm Lenny Green. That song that you just heard, Hurt So Good, this lady knows how to make the hurt feel good. She is a diva in many ways, and uh, she rides the edge in many ways, and she is the beautiful, voluptuous Millie Jackson. Hey, to Kissing hey, After Dark. Hey, come up on come, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Millie, you know, singer, songwriter, <laughs> but radio personality as well. Uh, and that, that totally escaped my mind. You've been in this game of radio now for how many years? Twelve. Well, actually, I've been doing it consecutively for 12 years. <laughs> but I did it for wow. two years and then took off four and did the play. And when the play was over, they called me back and said, how would you like to come back to work? And I'm going, I'm not driving to Dallas. Uh, I'm not moving to Dallas. I'm not doing anything in Dallas. They said... Technology has moved up. You don't have to go nowhere. So they built you a studio? I already had the studio for music. That's right. So all I had to do was get the ISDN lines. <laughs> and a Zephyr. And I'm live. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> this woman is phenomenal. Now you're in my game. <laughs> well, 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 you see, I had so many friends in your game. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes. Brian Harper and Jerry Bledsoe, you know, so. Frankie. Frank, oh, Frankie, he, hey, he's responsible for me. I, I know he is. You know. May you rest in peace, but you probably I can look down and see you for bringing me into this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she is, uh, she's in town. As you know, she's going to be in concert uh, on December 4th, you know, at Newark Symphony Hall. Um, but she's in town. We're going to talk about why she's in town and the accolades that are coming her way. Rightfully deserved. But I want to get back into another song of yours. And it, it definitely reflects her personality. Matter of fact, as quiet as it's kept, that's when I first met Millie Jackson on this song. Hot, wild, unrestricted. Crazy love. Yeah, so you might, you're going to tell me the story behind this one. <laughs> kissing up the dark with Millie Jackson tonight, baby. It's 98.7 <laughs> Kiss. It's nothing but laughs and jokes and memories as we enjoy the company of this beautiful lady, Millie Jackson. It is so good to lay eyes on you, and you look like a million dollars. Well, thank you. It's good to be back in New York. Yes, and some yes. things, you know how you think you know where you're going? Hey, but you don't. And then I move stuff around. Yeah, I've moved some things. I have been so lost. <laughs> you, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you used to hang out in New York back in the day. What was, let's just say, your number one spot that you loved? Well, see, I hung out in Brooklyn. Well, I'm a Brooklyn boy, so. 521, uh, Fulton and Franklin. That's wow. where it all started. Wow. Yeah. The parties, huh? Yeah. The heart. That's what, that was the, the real gig right there. $15 a night. <laughs> what, to come in or don't tell me to take you down? Hey, to perform. Come on. What was that, about 1973 or something? No, I had a record by then. I'm, I'm going all the way back. Yeah, I'm going to like... 62 and 63. Yeah, because you got you got you you got uh, your deal in the 70s. Right? Yeah. But but music hit you in the 60s. Yeah. I in fact uh, I was on the road with L.C. Cook when Sam died. Oh wow. Yeah. I went on opened up the show for L.C. So 5:21. Yeah. Let's not leave out the Boston Road Ballroom in the Bronx. Can't do that. <laughs> I've seen many a flyer when I was growing up, Boston Road Ballroom. I'm like, what, what kind of place is this? Oh, yeah. But I, I heard it was real, real hot. Look, you were just in town recently uh, to receive an award from the city of Newark. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know is that you're born in Georgia. Yeah. But you were raised in the brick city of Newark. Yep. So how does that feel to be? Southside High School. Look at that. But I didn't graduate from Southside. So you left Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, I had called myself coming up north and, and hadn't crossed the bridge to, to New York. I was in Newark and didn't know that I could cross the bridge <laughs> for a while. <laughs> I crossed the bridge and went, uh oh, this is really New York. <laughs> It's really New York, baby, and it's in the flesh. So, I mean, but, but how was your days uh, growing up in the, in the Brick City while you were there? I, uh, well, first of all, I graduated from Boys High. Mm. In Brooklyn? Mm-hmm. Oh, so. So, you don't, you, don't, you, you, you don't know how I graduated from Boys High, huh? No. At night. <laughs> At night, it was called Central Evening School. Oh, really? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm serious. I just like to say I graduated from Boys High, let it linger like for I said, a while. I'm a Brooklyn dude, so I'm like Boys High. I don't there were no girls in Boys High. I don't know, it was Boys High. Yeah. So it flipped to Coe at night. Yeah. That's crazy. Her name is Millie Jackson, the legendary Millie Jackson. That you means you old. It doesn't mean you old. Yes, it does. It means you're wise. It means you old and hopefully wise. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go into Love is a Dangerous Game. And is love still a dangerous game? Don't even tell me right now. We're going to come back and we're going to ask. Oh, you. hell yeah. <laughs> with the legendary, <laughs> sweet, young, looking Millie Jackson. Kissing after dark, playing nothing but the best ear candy berry, and reminiscing with L Millie Jackson tonight. Uh, I asked her if love is a dangerous game. You said, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Why, what has happened to love? Uh, I, from the 60s to 2010. Uh, you you got the uh, cougars and the... <laughs> you know about that. You know. No, wait, wait, see, let me explain. Okay, can, right, I, can, right, I, I, can I can I explain I this? I I would say you started. No, no. With, well, now, see, that's <laughs> what people think because I did the, the play for four years, Young Man, Older Woman. Exactly. But see, now my boss at my radio station said, you know, you started this and you need to do a segment in your show about the Cougars. I said, I didn't start that. He said, but what was the play? I said, young man, older woman. Apparently you didn't listen to the record. <laughs> it says, denying feelings and emotions, but still they are falling in love. You know what? That's young man, older woman. Cougars, they ain't interested in no love. They want you to come on in here, give me what you got and get out. And I hear it's big in Georgia. Yeah. I heard it's big. Yeah. But they don't even know I live there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even go out in Georgia. I'm serious. Well, I know the lady who does your hair. Does Barbara still do your hair? Get out of here! I know the lady. I the lady who does Get out of here! Hair is my business partner's sister. Check that out. It's a small world. Six degrees of separation, baby, all the time. Millie Jackson's with us. My mouth is hanging yeah, open. We'll talk a little bit more with her. She's in my house last week. Sorry to kiss. <laughs> Welcome inside of Kissing After Dark. I gotta let her go, but you know, I think uh, we'll piggyback and get into a little kiss and tell tonight a little bit more with you about if you think love is still a dangerous game and once you share your stories with us tonight, if you're not too, you know, scared to do that. So, scared. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, they can be at times. Um, before I let you go, I had noticed that you haven't recorded in quite some time. Uh, I Is did not for church folk okay. three years ago. My own label, Weird Records, okay. and um, well, there's a story behind that. It's um, first of all the bootleggers. I said I wouldn't do nothing else until they get rid of the bootleggers. Are they really ever going to go? They're not going to go away. So, but you can't you can't deny your audience. Sure, your I can. Oh, come on, your fan base. <laughs> I, is I, 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 I just switch. Okay. I just switch. I do something else. You know, like when I. Stop singing, I went to acting, went from acting to radio. radio, and now I'm working on the TV show. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. I'm that other Jackson. Yes, you are. The Jackson that the Jacksons you know don't want to know, <laughs> and won't admit being related you know to. why? Because she keeps it real <laughs> as real as can be. She holds back nothing, and that's why it's been on the edge for you, and that's why your fan base is going to love seeing you this coming weekend. She will be back in her stomping grounds of Newark, New Jersey. You will be at Newark Symphony Hall. They will continue to pay homage to you, and you're going to rip it. I'm going to come to that show because I got to see. I remember, only thing I remember, I'm going to let this secret out the bag. Go ahead. Working in Richmond, Virginia. All right. Came to the station, and that was an interesting experience. I'm going to leave that. <laughs> Concert. <laughs> she said, ladies, you want to know how you keep your man happy? And she had a champagne bottle. No, well, that was a Heineken. Okay. See, I didn't know. I, it was so, I was sitting so far I back. hate champagne. Okay. So, <laughs> and, and I don't know if she's going to do it this week. Nope. But, but no, that's I, a wonderful. I, 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 I dropped that a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. It got to the point where people come to the show and say, are you going to do the Heineken? Like it was a song. <laughs> no. Well, look, you have to understand. Especially in Dallas. You're going to do the Heineken? What does that tell you? That's not a song. Well, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? That tell, that tell me that, that they liked it and now I moved on. And I, and I respect the fact of progression. However, 
Because you do not do a lot of shows that I, you need to give us, the fan base, your all. Just do the Heineken, huh? One more time. <laughs> I'm totally out on this Mary Jackson. If you don't do that, bad and bottle trick, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna say, Billy Jackson, where's the Hannigan bottle? You promised me. So, you know, think about it. I don't want to answer right now, but if you go into the show, you'll laugh and you'll enjoy it. Billy Jackson, you are a wonderful spirit. Oh, thank you. And I want you to have a wonderful, blessed uh, Christmas season, Kwanzaa season, and of course a prosperous 2011. Thank you. <laughs> Same to you. Any parting words for New York? Huh? Any parting words that you'd like to leave on New York City, uh, New Jersey, Connecticut? It's, it's, it's good being home for a few minutes. I know that's right. Yeah. Well, let it not be too long. The no, no. I've been here like every other week now for the last three months. <laughs> But you never stopped in to see me. No, I've never stopped so in to see you. Hopefully next time you will, you know. Yeah. We'll, we'll make sure flowers are waiting for you every time you come. Thank you. Mother Jackson, inside a kissing after dark.